Watch you guys, got another video here for you on how to delete browsing history from Chrome cache using your group policy editor. Now you will need Windows 10 Pro or above to do this, but I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do once you know how. First off, you're gonna need some sort of script. I'm using this one here, which will clear out the cache for me. And I'm gonna create a batch file out of this by just saving this as a batch file basically and uh, we need to do is go to file name type in here whatever file name you want to call it so I'm going to call mine clean dash chrome cache and I've got dashes in between I'm going to make this save file type all files and then call it dot bat which is a batch file basically once I've uh, put the dot bat on there, I can save this to my desktop and move on to the next step. So let's uh, hit save. Once I've hit save, I can uh, close off this notepad. I don't need it anymore because we've got the file that we need saved. Once I've done that, I can check the file. You can see it here. I've got it in a folder called clean cache I can edit this and you can see it I can run this from here and it will clean all the cache from Chrome which is very handy but what I want to do is have this run so I'm going to run it inside the group policy editor and run this as a startup script so I'm going to go down to the search box here and type GP edit this will open up the group policy editor by clicking on edit group policy. Now we can uh, expand the local group policy editor. Once we've got this done, we can navigate to the location. So under the uh, computer configuration here, what we're gonna do is go down to where it says Windows settings, and then you should see scripts and start up and shut down. Click on this one. And then on the right hand pane, you should see two of them here, start up and shut down. We're going to concentrate on the start up here. So double click on this one and a little box will open saying start up properties. From the start up properties box, we want to go down to where it says show files. Now the show files area is where we can add in our script. So let's go ahead and click on the show files button and this will allow us to add in our script so let's go ahead and do that you can see the path it's pointing to machine scripts and startup so what we need to do is navigate to that batch file that we created earlier on I've got mine here and you can copy and paste it into that location you can drag and drop it across if you wish I'm just going to copy and paste this over just like so you may get this box popping up, just say OK. And that will now copy our script inside here, which is our batch file. So now we can shut this box off. Now once we've done this, we also need to go into the Add button. And this will add the scripts for the local computer that we're using. So what we're going to do is hit the Add button to add our script. Now you should see script name here, name here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna browse to the script again, and that's what we need to do. So let's go ahead and browse to our script. So just hit the browse button here. And you should see the script in a startup area. So click open, and there's the path for our script. Once we've done that, we can uh, click okay. And then we can apply an okay and that is ready to go. You will need to reboot the system and once you do that your batch file will run and it will delete all the cache from Chrome every time. Very simple and easy to do. So click apply and OK here. You can then close off the local group policy editor and you're pretty much good to go from there. You can see here that there is our script. We can remove it, we can edit it, we can do whatever we want here once we've finished this off Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.